I will scream. Oh. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Vasiliki and in this video I will show you a very easy makeup look with lilac eyeshadows. For today's video I have used the Flamingo palette by Violet Voss and I have used only four eyeshadows. It is super easy and I wanted to show you an easy way to use colorful eyeshadows for every day. If you don't have this palette you don't need to buy it. You can use any eyeshadows that you have in a similar color and you don't need to buy this one to do this eye look. Use whatever you have guys. Let me know what is the next easy makeup look that you would like me to do and what colors you use most of the times for every day. In the summer I like to experiment with colors but I can say that the majority of the times I use warm eyeshadows in natural shades like brownish or orange caramelish eyeshadows. Let me know what you use. This eye makeup is a very nice way to have a little bit of color on your eyes. It is so natural. I mean, it's not very dark. It's not intense. And I think that you can use it for every day. Why not? Share this video with a friend that likes easy makeup looks. If you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell to get notified for all my latest videos. And without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial! So let's start with this beautiful eyeshadow. I will start with eyeshadow sand and an eyeshadow brush by Essence and I will apply it all over my brow bone. So this is not my favorite finish for my brow bone highlighter. I always prefer a shimmery eyeshadow for this area here because my eyes are becoming more hooded and I want to bring forward this area, hide my crease and also intensify my eyelid and I can do that with shimmery eyeshadows. With an eye blender brush by Essence I take eyeshadow sunbathe and I will apply it into my crease. I'm going back and forth into my crease and I also bring it a little bit into the brow bone highlighter and I am applying a second layer and also blend it outwards to elongate the eyes. If your eyes are closer together like mine, this is a nice technique to make your eyes a little bit further away to look this way. With a smudging brush by Essence, I take eyeshadow sunbathe and I apply it all over my lower lash line. And also bring it into the outer corner and blend it with the crease color. With the same eyeshadow brush I take eyeshadow bikini and I apply it all over my eyelid. And I press the color on my eye so I can have maximum intensity. You need two or three layers of this eyeshadow with a dry brush to make it look like this. And if you want to make it even more intense you can take it with your fingers and apply a little bit more and you can see that the color is much more intense this way but if you don't like it like this you can apply it with a dry brush but I like the intensity so I will apply it with my finger. If you don't like using your fingers on your eyes you can also use a sponge tip applicator. My eyes now look a little bit droopy and sad and I want to make them fresh and awake so I will apply a little bit of darker eyeshadow in the outer corner of my eye and also in the outer crease. I will clean my eyeshadow brush on a tissue and I will take eyeshadow sandals, tap the excess off and apply some in the outer corner and this is not the shade that I wanted. Okay, I will blend it very well. And you don't need a lot. Apply it flat on your eyes. And this will add just very nice definition to the outer corner. With brush 2 to 5 by Zoeva, I will take the same eyeshadow and I will apply it in the outer crease of my eyes and tap the excess off because this eyeshadow is very dark. I just want a little bit of color here. Also blend it towards your inner corner and try to blend the color into your brow bone very lightly and also outwards. And you can see immediately the difference. This eye is more awake and happy and ready to go and start the day. 
With the smudging brush that I have used before, I take eyeshadow sandals and I will apply it in the outer lower lash line. Also bring it into the outer eyelid and blend everything together. I will take the highlighter by Wet n Wild in the color Precious Petals with a pencil brush by Morphe and I will apply it in the inner corner. With an eyebrow brush by Essence, I take eyeshadow sunnies and I will apply it very close to my lashes. If you don't have time to apply eyeliner, this is very easy to define the eye shape and look more awake. Everything we do is to look awake in the morning. For mascara, I will use Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara by Essence. Let's continue with the face makeup and to contour my face I will use this contouring palette by Wet n Wild and this is in the color Dulce de Leche. I also have a review about it, I will have a card here if you want to see this video. And I will use the brush 109 by MAC, tap the excess off, this is very soft and it has a lot of kickback. And I will apply it on my cheekbones. I also blend it into my hairline and I will also apply some on my forehead and I also blend it into my hair again because I don't want to have harsh lines. With the same brush I also contour the sides of my nose and I bring it into my brows because we have some natural shadows and it is like hugging the shape of my nose to make it more defined and if you want to see a more detailed video about contouring I will have a card here in that video I use cream contouring but I still explain about contouring and highlighting a little bit on the jawline as well for blush I will use this one by Catrice Cosmetics this is the blush box in the color Golden Coral I will apply it with a Zerva brush this is the brush tap the excess off if you apply too much on your bristles and smile and this is where the highest points of my cheeks are and I will apply it here and also blend it towards my contouring my products are not blending very easy today I am reviewing this primer by Essence and it's not easy, my skin is very tight and if you did any mistakes with your contouring and you have blended it a little bit downward you can use the highlighting shade of this palette and with the same L brush I will take this one, tap the excess off and I will just clean the edges. I will also apply on my cheeks near the sides of my nose but not on my nose and I will blend it into my blush and this will make my blush here even more natural and for highlighter I will use this one that I used before in my inner corner and this is a highlighter by Wet n Wild in the color Precious Petals and I will use this brush by Sigma, this is number E40 I will take some and I will apply it on the highest point of my cheekbone on the bridge of my nose a little bit on the cupid's bow and with a big fluffy brush by Morphe I will blend everything together with big circular motions for the lips I want something natural and I will use this one by Catrice Cosmetics and this is the Dewyful Lips Conditioning Lip Butter in the color let's do this this is one of my favorite products at the moment and this one gives such a nice luxurious finish to the lips and it makes them look fuller and very glossy and I like also the applicator of this one. I think this makeup look is very easy to achieve in 5 to 10 minutes for every day and you can also do it very early in the morning. I give you some tips that you can make your face look more fresh and awake and I think it is perfect for a an everyday makeup look. Of course if you recreate the makeup look tag me on Instagram I would like to see your creation and I will be so happy if you recreate this I will scream. Oh. Give this video a huge thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below if you want to see more everyday makeup looks or you would also like to see some night looks let me know what you would like to see. If you want to learn more about makeup and also see some more videos from me don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye!